Hey guys, I'm Tom, section 8. After Sirs did the first part, the unboxing, I'm gonna go a little bit more detail of the Fox here mix. Oh well guys, I sorted out the components on the table in front of you. On the left you got your PCB, on the right your camera with the connecting cable. It gets delivered separately, you can attach it later on the right position, right here. Further on you got, on your PCB, you got your 30 by 30 screw holes and a little bit to the inside you got your 2020 mounts. You can change the PCB by breaking off to this line. You can see it all the little holes drilled around. Here you got your power on or auto record button. This PCB you can uh, ch choose or you go plug and play sy uh, system to the right connector or you go to the solder pads on your left. On the other side, you got your micro. This is for data storage, not usable for uh, direct link to your VTX. Here on the, to the right, you got yourself uh, the same button as the other side, but this is for the 30 by 30 mount. And the other side will stay on after you break the outer layer. For your connection of your camera, you got on the top your connection. It just clicks on. I do advise some sealing before it clicks off when you crash. For connecting your camera to your VTX, you got the connector here. It was uh, delivered with a cable. This cable I got the small connector fits in here and it goes to a big connector I think more for attaching to your VTX. On to the left you got your solder pads, you got the first VCC, full power, you got your ground, you got your video output, and you got your OSD output. Further on, on the solder pads you got your voltage sen uh, sensor, this is not included into the connector, a little bit strange that they use it like this. On the connector Almost the same as at the solder pads. From right you got your power, you got your ground, you got your video output and your OSD. If you see in the connector you got your OSD connector wired to this connector and you can plug and play like this. Now guys, before I connect all to my PC PDB for showing you the settings. I'm gonna check all the all the sizes if they match up with the manual. First we got the PCB. On the large mount I got a size of 37.11 millimeters on 3744. The smaller PCB will have the size of 2931 on 29.6. Dimension of the camera is 19. Point ten on eighteen point nine nineteen point one total length because there's the slight difference with other brands, they got the protective case on the back. We got a total length of 28.9 and for the ones who wants to know the length of the cable 
is starting from where it comes out to approximately 96.7 okay I'm gonna set up everything to show you the settings okay guys I got all hooked up onto the power so we got the video feed now I'm gonna tell you how the bottom board of the Foxeer Mix works first of all when you want to go into your menu make sure you turn off the auto records so it doesn't record as long as recording you can go into the menu to go into the menu you press the center button you get your list of settings first one you got you got your movie size you got four different choices you got your 180p 60 frames 180p 30 frames 720p 120 frames and 720p at 60 frames I just mostly use 180p 60 frames next you got the exposure you can go from 0 to minus 2 and the other way around from 0 to positive 2 next you got your white balance you got your auto, daylight, cloudy, fluorous age and tungsten next you got your metering mode you got center multi or spot you got your white dynamic range just by choosing on or off next you got your loop video then you can decide if you shorten the videos by one minute three minutes five minutes or off to remind the Foxeer mix has the protection if you crash and you lose your battery it records maybe loses two se uh, the last two seconds of your video most of it recovers auto records you can choose on or off if you put it on off you have to push the white button on the outside of your PCB to start recording I keep it on on just for my own you got your voice recording, you can choose on or off, it's a little mic onto the PCB. You got your field of view, your wide, your medium, your narrow. Then you got your screen ratio, you can choose the 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. Depends what, what colors you use. Next you got your RSD display I'll put it on but the difference is with this camera you cannot change what you use of your uh, OSD other models you can uh, put in your own name you can change if you want the timer in, your voltage in several modes this one doesn't have as I can as I have heard, maybe next updates of firmware can use this. For now, it's just on or off. You got your inverted mode. That depends if you want your cable coming out of the camera on the top side or the lower side. This one you have to check because we got extra backplate. Maybe it changes, the, uh, changes something. You got the TV mode, NTSC, mostly America, here in Europe we use PAL. You got your light frequency, 60 or 50 Hz. You got the control mode, flight control or PVM. It doesn't do anything, maybe on to next firmware updates this will be able to do extra 
solar pads onto the PCB. Your auto boots. You got format, I just don't have an SD card in, you can format your card directly from here. You got your system, factory resets, resets everything. System info, it shows you what firmware it's on. Your card info, it has no card. It depends what room you got on your. And language. English, Chinese, and Japanese. Now, an extra uh, thing on this video. You can go into your videos and check them again. Now, I don't have a SD card in, but if you push to the left, you will toggle to the menu, the right, or normal screen, and between that, you can choose between your videos. Now I don't have the uh, SD card in so I don't have any videos yet. Well guys, that's all I can say about it. If you got questions, put them below in the descriptions. If you want to see future videos of us, hit the bell and don't forget to subscribe and like. See you next time guys.